Hello, this is Todd Richardselli, also known as Swerve Master T. Today I'm going to talk about two critical moves that will set you up for slalom success, whether you're in a slalom course or free skiing. And that is the pull out and turn in. Your very first move is the pull out. So we're going to analyze Chris Parrish's style starting out. And first of all, look at how wonderfully stacked he is on the ski, head over hips, hips over feet. He moves out in a very progressive manner. His hips are progressively shifting up over the ski. And then as he transitions into his coast, you'll notice that you'll see the hips shifting up forward. He's squaring the shoulders down course. Weight is over his front foot. And he's ready to make his move in. Another thing that you'll notice is how level his shoulders are. He's not shoulder heavy when he starts the movement. The power is coming from his core, but the hips lead the way. Here again, here's another perspective looking down. You see the hips come up over the front of the ski, and you want the water to be breaking in front of the front binding. All right, here's an example of what not to do. You can see the hips shift back right from the start. Too much weight on that back foot. And he ends up pulling a little long as well. Here's an example of my one-handed gait versus a traditional gait. You can see the tempo is very similar. All right, let's get to the turn-in. So standing tall from a wide position on the boat, you should be matching the speed of the boat. Have some slight tension, and when you roll in, be 100% committed. Get the ski between you and the boat, and that's textbook right there. That's textbook efficiency, perfectly stacked over the ski. Here's an example of a skier rolling in too slow and a little too back foot dominant. You notice the lower body crush there. So move dynamically, stay balanced. Alrighty then. That's going to end today's slalom instruction on the pull out and turn in. I hope this serves you well in some form or fashion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And until the next time, be well.